Hi Tigers, it's Mrs. McCarver and it's time for your writing lesson today. This week we've learned to, about the writing process or the steps that we follow when we're getting ready to write. The first step is to think. We're going to think about what our story or writing will be about today. The next step is to plan. We're using one piece of paper and we're going to plan what we want to write or draw. Then we wanted to draw a sketch or a quick picture to get our ideas on the paper. Today I'm going to teach you the next step which is to add labels. Labels are words written at different parts of your picture to explain to others or people who are reading what your drawing is. So watch me as I follow the first four steps. Think, plan, draw, label. I'm going to get out a new piece of paper today. Last time I thought about a time I went to the park. This time I think I'm going to write about something I've done at school, like recess. Hmm, let me think about all the things that happen at recess. Well, I got to go outside and I played with a jump rope and I also got to blow some bubbles. Now I want to plan which of those things I'm going to draw on my paper. Well, first I want to make sure I draw myself and I can probably draw the other students who were in my class and my teacher and I want to make sure to draw the jump rope and the bubbles. Now it's time to start drawing. I'm going to draw a quick sketch to remember to get everything on my paper. So here's someone with a jump rope and oh there was other people in my class and they were blowing bubbles. Now you'll notice I'm not done with my picture. I'm just doing that quick sketch so I can get all my ideas down before I forget. And my teacher was over here watching us all. Okay, and um, we were outside. There's a big tree. And here's the school building over here with our door. So now that I've got my sketch on my paper, I'm going to follow my next step, which was to add labels. When I label something, I'm going to write words by parts of the picture. So I'm going to think about what I have. Well, let's see. This is the school. I want to write the word school. You might not know all the letters in the word school, so I'm going to say it very, sl very slowly to stretch it out and write the sounds I hear. School. The first sound I heard was the s sound. I know that's the letter S. Sk. Hmm. I remember that k sound from our word study lesson. Sk. Ooh, mm, I'm not really sure about that one. School, I heard the L at the end. Parents, if you're watching this video with your child, it's okay if they do not hear all the letters in the word. We want to encourage our students to listen carefully and write the letters that match the sounds they hear in the beginning, middle, and end of the word. Sometimes we know how to write the words. This is my friend, his name is Ben. So I know how to spell his name, B-E-N. I could write it really fast. And this is a teacher, Mrs. Shiverdecker. I know how to write her name too, so I don't have to stretch that one out. And I don't remember this person's name, but it's a girl. So maybe I can stretch the word girl. Earl, and she's blowing bubbles. Uh, bowls. So these little words by the parts of my picture are called labels. Today, when you start your piece of writing, think about all these steps that we've talked about so far. First, you need to think about 
a time or place that you might want to write about. Then you're going to plan what's going to go on your paper. After that, draw a quick sketch to get your ideas down. And today we can start to add labels or words to describe parts of our picture.